Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you for joining me today. I try to catch games early on in development to show you guys as much as I can as the game develops. Sometimes, however, games pop out on release date that I was unaware of. Cyber Shadow is one of these games that surprised me. It came across my Twitter feed a couple of days ago. Well, a week ago when this airs but it surprised me it was released so i checked it out it fits right up our alley it is a retro inspired ninja platformer kind of thing so it looks really good there's been a lot of talk about it right now so we're going to get in here and check this out and i gotta say i've loved the art already in this little cut scene so we're gonna just kind of see what it's all about and see how the game plays like we normally do just run and give you a little first impressions here and see what all we could do i love this ninja guy already throwing those little darts awesome very impressive oh that guy's big that guy is a really big okay well let's check it out let's go ahead and start let's yeah brand new game i have not played this i have not looked at it this is the first time i've loaded this this is a real first impressions and an honest impression for what i see that is a pretty cool little life pod thingy that's what it looks like to me it looks like somebody should be in that oh yeah I'm gonna say that's probably me in that little pod, and this is a memory of something that has happened. That, nope, I was gonna say, that does not look good. That is not, whatever happened was definitely a bad thing. Okay, so we got some hit points and some spell power, maybe? Here we go. Nice little slash there i really much very much like that and i like i've talked a lot of times about the little things in the game to make it so much more more immersive i love how his bandana when he's running kind of flaps in the wind i think that is extremely cool so right now all we got is a slash and a jump it looks and then like a there should be a dash but i don't have it yet let's talk to the little robot shadow it's great to see you with an operational specification. Sorry to cut your recovery short, but our mission got a lot more urgent. Our master is in desperate need of your help. A lot has happened since the explosion. I'll fill you in on the details as we go. My name's Elgion, by the way. Aid to our master. Okay, well, fill me in then. Well, that was some health potions there, health recovery there look at these little i love the little circle pod things of his floating oh give me some more of those i love that yes yeah, sweet you're weakened by essence you're weakened by essence deprivation your vital systems can't hold out for long shadow you're on borrowed time and to make matters worse i'm pretty sure you're awakening alerted dr progen we should keep moving Oh, that's not good. We don't want to alert anybody. Definitely, that would be a bad thing. Read this. Status chamber. Offline. Okay, can I do something about a status chamber? That's about all I can do. Status chamber. Yeah, interesting. So we're going to see if we, I guess, see if we can figure out how to get that online. But status chamber. Security status. Compromised. Oh, is that 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 doesn't sound good though. I don't want things to be compromised. I guess when I get up there we go Oh read this one Log file subject beta released last recorded status health critical essence level 37% Interesting. I'm not sure what essence level means, but we'll figure that out and jumps are very important in a platformer and the way someone jumps is very important. I'd like 
that when you kind of jump off the edge there, it looked like it was doing a little, I don't know, a little mark or something away from his feet there. But anyways, I like his jump. Now, I don't know if it would work in every game, but he has a little bit of a floaty jump. And I think considering this is a ninja style game, I think that's going to be good and work for us. Okay, let's enter in. What are we doing here? Chapter one, geothermal towers. Looks like we have to get from circle to circle and we'll figure out how to do that as we go. I got four little coins, I'm thinking. No, I'm thinking SP is some kind of special power or magic power of some sort. And then HP is obviously our health. The background is absolutely amazing, and I love that lightning effect as well. Got that. I'm not sure what this does. I have not figured out what those do. That's the second one I have seen so far. Oh, we got a little enemy. I can't crouch. I really can't do anything yet. I hope we can pull up stuff soon. Oh, okay. Those hurt us. I didn't expect that. I was thinking that was some kind of background thing. Oh, wow. That thing is jumps in. I was not ready for that. Okay. Got a little bit of that health back. Okay. Oh, okay. I, okay. I like the telltale sign there. That little flash before it shoots. That was very reminiscent of early retro games. They did that quite a bit as well. Just to flash a little bit to kind of give you a warning. This guy jumps a lot. So we're going to have to make sure we jump with him and this guy i'm going to assume is going to be a little bit harder to take care of as well this i don't think this guy will be because he just kind of runs the things that run over run along the ground are usually typically not very much of a problem did i get hit i don't think i got oh wow that's not good oh those things kind of remind me of contra there was at the end of contra a something oh i like that, that it changed colors a little bit that the very end it last enemy had these little like things that came out or some enemy had little things that came out of you that kind of were that same shape i believe let's break in that air vent and see what oh there he is i'll come again dr progen is holding our clan captive he's siphoning their power we're barely reached we barely reached you in time good thing they didn't get to you too one of our four companions is nearby but fading quickly please go to meet him well i will try i'm running as fast as these little legs will carry me okay i really like the flashing of the enemies Ooh, i got something now oh that's cool Oh shoot, that comes back. Okay, that's good to know. I don't know what the special power does. I mean, it looks like it added some reach on my weapon, but I'm not sure about that. Oh, whoa, that's cool. Those robot things seem to, yeah, they come back. They like get go away and then get, oh, I have to like break them twice. I'm following it now. Like I have to hit them twice and I'm not sure how I'm gonna deal with that and the smoke there at the same time i'm gonna go ahead and get him out of our way so we're not have to worry about him try to get these things taken care of so they're not shooting me in the back and making the platforming harder and i did something really wrong there i'm not sure what i did but i did something that very immediately shortcutted our jump and i'm not sure what that was let's see if we can get him on the jump there we go I'm enjoying this game quite a bit already. Maybe I missed something, a uh, uh, something that was at my head and I just didn't realize it. I think these are just health. That little bug is going to be a little bit annoying. I think I have to hit the, ah, oh, shoot. I have to hit that shooting guy in the face the like the the part that extends like its neck area is is not hurtable 
I have to hit the eye or the face of it to do any damage. Oh, shoot. I just stand. I can stand right to the edge, but I did get a little bit of damage there. We can run back and grab that for full health. Break this down. We already got the message here, so we really don't need to talk to him. I'm going to try to gather that up. But much of those coinage or money system that we can here. I'm sure it's going to be used for us something at some point. Not sure what though. There we go. We got that little slash thing now. Again, I'm not 100% sure what it does. I'm going to pop back open. There we go. I like to take these out because I just, I don't know if they can shoot through the floor, but also I don't want to have to worry about things shooting behind me or anything like that to make any, to just to killing them. Even if I take a minute and kill them, it's just a lot easier to deal with that way. I seem to have no, yeah. I don't know what I did last time, but I definitely did something that made that jump go really bad. We're making it further here. Okay, that's actually another save point, I believe. That's good. Let's head on. No, nope, robot. Him. I'm liking this, although I don't really know what the power ability does. So you can see that guy is shooting below me. It is hitting the floor, so I know that the... The, the, the weapons don't go through the floor levels and sometimes you don't, just don't know. Sometimes enemies seem to, oh gosh, can't be able to shoot through the floor area and sometimes they can't. You just, I don't, it's hard to tell unless you experience that part of the game there. Crap, get up out of there. That stupid bug is gonna be the bane of my existence. I know it already. <laughs> He's just going to be a troublesome foe. Oh, crap. Can I just, like, try to... I was going to try to just overfight him. Like, overpower him. Just keep on shooting. But I don't think that would be a smart way to do it. Just... There we go. What's back here? It looks like a little bit of a secret or something? Oh, I don't know what that does, but it looks like it powers something up increases my essence or something my strength well we're out of the funny little slash thing the extra of my weapon i probably just used it up but i wonder what that did because it doesn't seem to have affected any of my controls yet Ooh, can i hit that okay i can't okay. let's just get that out of my way okay, full health that's good oh i kind of walked right over on that that was cool They seem to have a generous coyote so far that I could I could tell, and that is how far that you can run off the f ground before it drops you. Now, a lot of times in a, in a lot of platformers, what they'll do is allow your character to, to you see how I'm popping back on there? It'll allow your character to have like a pixel or a frame actually off the edge of the platform in order to make it easier to platform when you're doing this and i think that they have added a pretty generous coyote effect in in this game and i like that it's going to make platforming and getting through certain areas i feel a lot easier go up I don't like this thing. He goes by... Ah, oh, shit. I need to see if I can get... This thing just, like, uh, gets alerted to my presence and then will charge at me. So the little ground thing seems... That's what it seems to do. Fullback health. Oh, well, that's not what I wanted to do. So we can fall through the floors or purposefully go down through them. Wow. Okay, so jump, yeah. So just like normal in a lot of other platformers down and your jump button will let you go through the floors. But it also seems with that coyote effect, it does also seem that there is 
a effect where I have to be like fully up on the platform to make that uh, to make it up there so if I just kind of get close to it or come down through it it's not going to put me on the platform Go. looks like we are going up okay whoa a smasher no no we don't like this eh. okay we definitely have to take care of that let's just take care of these two things at the edge here that's going to be the easiest thing to do and then see if we can deal with this smasher thing in the middle it doesn't seem too complex here we just got to hit this little button here and stay away from those flame balls and i'm sure oh yeah i want to say i'm sure things are going to change as i get more damage on it wow this is going to be tough to avoid there we go we're getting it we're getting it i like it doesn't stay the same color but as you hit it the color changes as it loses more health it seems like it looked like it did that so in a lot of retro games they would as you would damage an enemy it would change color to let you know it wouldn't have a health bar it would change color to let you know that you were actually you were actually damaging it a little worried about why well, okay i'm supposed to jump there we go i was a little worried about those are platforms or enemies of some sort so the enemies would change color bosses would change color to let you know they were damaging them because you didn't have health bars instead of changing colors on that one it seemed like the color it was when you hit it was changing over time I like how you knock the wings off those first and then they fall down then they you kill you hit their wings off and then you got to hit them again for the like the bug like the ground part of them too I just like those and then he drops down into a let's see if I can show that there see he dropped oh gosh that was bad bad and do these okay i was gonna wonder if they had a conveyor belt or they just go back and forth you want to have a bug come up behind me oh there's a lot of bugs everywhere these are just i feel those are just going to come out continuously he can go through the ground or the wall or whatever you want to call it i need some health in a maid there we go that's a little bit i need a little bit more net though these guys are going to be a little bit of a pain i believe oh that's not good uh, that unfortunately landed in a bad spot but it wasn't a health i believe that's one of the like gems or money things oh i can't hit his wing so i gotta hit that guy's body to kill him interesting we are not getting enough or sustaining our health well enough to make it through here long term i don't feel i need to do much better on shoot keeping our health up can i just farm these to get or do they have so many i don't know i was wondering if there are so many in that or i had to like there was there an infinite amount coming out of this hole so that I could farm it or was there just like a finite number that came out that I had to kill and it looks like there's a finite number that I had to kill that is just another coinage of some sort but I like now I have to hit these little platforms to get them to work that's kind of cool give me some health I would really like some health right now I'm not. Uh, oh, 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 nope, nope. At least I didn't fall and die. That's good. I am not sure how I'm going to get that guy. He's right on that platform, like right smack dab in the middle of that platform. And I'm not sure if I can. There we go. At least we got him off that time. And we've got another save spot, it looks like, or a respawn location point. 
Okay, now... Oh gosh, this is not gonna be fun at all! Woo! Okay. How are we gonna do this? Where do those bombs land? Shh. This is not going well already. How am I gonna hit him? If I can get... I'm just trying to figure out the best way to not get hit because I don't have a life, any more life. I'm feeling that's going to be a power up over there. And I just got to figure out the best, like, mode of killing him. Come on, let's shoot those guys out. Shoot your gun. He has, definitely has a pattern there that's pretty predictable, which is good. I just got to get enough hits on him to kill him. Here we go. Now I can pick up the power up. I'm assuming that seems to be some kind of power up. Ooh, I filled up two of those now. That's good. I don't know what happens if I'm going to fill up all three of them. But I'm happy that we filled up two of them. Can I go down here and save that again? Just so that we have that done. I really like the flashing of this. The warning. The only thing that really doesn't have a warning, it seems like so far, is the steam. But that's minimal, I think. I don't think that's a big, too much of a deal that that doesn't have a warning. Because either it's coming out all the time, or it's very... And I fell down the hole. That's not good. It's either coming out all the time, or it's like these where it comes out as... Oh. oh, I don't like you. You... Uh, get away. You came out from underneath the ground. That was not nice of you. Gosh. Get that. I am trying to survive, and I don't think I'm doing a very good job here. Ah, oh, come on. Right, I can do this. We just got to make it through that little bit of, a little bit of area there. This has gotten difficult, difficult quickly, I got to say. Gosh, I'm going to die. I forgot all about that bug down there. Let's get him back up over here and see if we can take him out. I don't like that he goes through the wall for floor area, but I can manage Not that one and I can jump up from here and hit the next one Okay, got that Now that bug comes jumps got him Now he's gonna jump there we go Aha, I did it Here's comes another one, but it seems to be a yeah, it's a, definitely a jumper. He's coming towards me and jumping Okay, this is gonna be fun. Ah. I would really like to have whatever that is down there. Hopefully some health. How are we gonna get out? <laughs> I just, I just kind of wanted out at that point. Oh, now we got smoke. I missed that one. That's good. We're gonna. Oh, this is gonna be a quick. I like have to be quick here. It looks like There's a lot of things going on in this area. Got that. Another health is good. I don't like these little flying insects. These things are definitely bad news for me. He flew out of the screen, but I'm not sure if he's going to come back or not. Oh, nope. No. Wait, right, just chill. Just chill. We can come back up. No, no. No problem. Ah. I want to kill this guy very badly. He's already hit me twice. It's the mechanic of There we go now. I should be able to get at least get him once there. Oh How it rolls around is there we go And then oh, yeah got him Okay, that doesn't bode well for me I don't think I'm thinking this is gonna come at me and attack me and push me through the area But let's see what this person. Oh, that doesn't look good No, was that my friend? Oh, man My essence is leaving me. I guess 
I don't know. I'm very impressed with this game so far. Oh, wow. We got chomped, it looked like. I hope we can make it to a safe spot because I... Oh, okay, good. Here's my little guy again. He saved me. You didn't look so good, Shadow. Your condition is worsening. I hope you'll stabilize soon. We can't afford to lose you now. Our master needs you to be at full strength. Interesting, interesting. I'm not definitely not at full strength, but there's a save spot and we're full on health. I think that's a good spot to uh, stop the episode. We're going to continue playing this game and see how it works out. I really enjoy not only the graphics, but the play style so far as well. Very reminiscent of some early ninja style platformers that I enjoyed although there seems to be a little bit of difficulty in some of the areas I think that it's not going to be hard as some of the the old NES ones and also it's possibly could be my fault because I rush a lot I rush through platforming and that can get me into a lot of trouble sometimes so thank you so much for watching I do appreciate it and I will see you in the next episode bye everybody